is up YouTube? I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little intro that was put together for me. Um, it was by at Whippy, Wimpy Jason. I met him at the track recently, so if you saw the last track video, he was there. Um, he offered his services to me, um, and you know I'm all for young people trying to do uh, something good for themselves, something you know unique. And he offers like a bunch of th different editing and uh, um, like animation type of things so make sure you check him out in the description below I linked his IG you can contact him ask him to make you something similar or have him actually edit all of your videos if you're not as savvy at editing like me but uh, I kind of get by um, anyway today is the second installment of oil change and chill for those of you that are new to the channel um, and possibly haven't even seen this video but are a part of the channel a lot of the times uh, well I, I pretty much started a series where I literally just do an oil change on the car which is actually very simple and doesn't take that much time and just kind of like go over a, a topic whether it be something about the car community today or you know something fun that I think would do well um, in terms of like discussion or whatever the case may be I wanted to do a fun one today and I thought that it would be awesome to do one where you price out your dream garage so actually before you even start watching the rest of this video I want you to go down in the comments below and drop your dream garage if you were given six hundred and fifty thousand dollars now how you got that money I have no idea maybe you won the lottery maybe you made it big on YouTube or whatever the case may be but let's say you have six hundred fifty thousand dollars to spend and you could price out your dream garage with that six hundred fifty thousand now let's that, that's everything aside like you have your house you have the garage for all the cars you want and I also want you to drop what modifications to each you would buy with that six hundred fifty thousand dollars now the trick is you cannot use a car that you already own so the BMW is out I want it to be all original cars so like if you have a mark 6 GTI or e30 you guys know who I'm talking about because if you're watching the video you're like oh shit that's me um, but or an STI Christian or uh, s2000 can't use your own cars so all brand new cars um, we'll go ahead and say you can buy the car at the cheapest price that you can find it online for so for example if I was looking for let's just say an Evo right you could probably find an Evo a clean one for like 20 grand right low mileage that type of thing so we're not using sticker prices so to give you a little bit more room to play with your mods and pick the cars you want so I'm just gonna get started set up the camera and I'll tell you my dream garage was six hundred and fifty thousand dollars starting with the cheapest car and let's work our way up to the best car that I would be able to buy with that money. Okay, I'm in a really weird position, but I think you should be able to hear me pretty well. I might have to ditch this creeper. Every time I use it, it seems like I'm just like way too close to the car no matter how high I jack it up. But uh, anyway, okay, so let's say that I have $650,000. What am I starting out with? I think for the very first car that I'd wanna buy, I'm gonna go ahead and say an S2000. Why an S2000? Well, I actually think they're really cool. Um, I think that's about what, let's say, let's call that 15 grand, okay? So 15 grand out of that money. I think they're pretty cool. Um, some mods that I'll probably do to it. I think I would sheepy, sheepy built kit for that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna get off this first because this is like killing me. I'm gonna say I would get a sheepy built kit for that car. Um, so that kit probably is gonna be like at least five grand. I would say I want spoon hardtop. I would say I want Fortune Auto coilovers. I'll put some Ray's Graham lights on there. Let's say ZE 40s. Um, I think I would probably do. Let's get this right the first time. I think I would probably do. Bride bucket seats, harnesses, and I think I would do a Voltex wide body sheepy turbo kit, uh, full inside bride, uh, like and just like bride interior type of like accents and things like that. Um, I think I would upgrade the diff to like an LSD. The wheels I said already, and I think I would call. Actually, no, I can't have the Voltex wing because I don't have the because I have the spoon hardtop. So I think I would have to get a different hardtop. Um, I'm not sure which one I would get, but I think I want the wing more than I want the hard uh, the hardtop. So I'm getting the Voltex wing. All 
All right, moving on. Next car that I would get. I feel like a lot of you guys would like want me to say like a super or something like that, but I don't think so. But that whole build for the S2000 was probably that the whole build for the S2000, I would say is probably about like 80 grand maybe even like just work parts and everything. Um I'll check it and update it on the screen if that is the actual case. But anyway, next car I think I would get a Lotus Elise or a Vora because no, a Lotus Exige because I think that that car is so exotic looking but it's so not at the same time so it kind of like confused those non-car enthusiast people because it's really not that expensive I think you can pick one up for about 40-ish grand maybe hold on this oil spilling all over the place and honestly to that car I probably would just put some type of suspension on it and wheels and that's it maybe an exhaust and I really don't know the mods for that car so that's why I'm just keeping it very general that car is awesome looking um, maybe some aero too yeah so we'll bump the price up to however much that is and I don't know how much I have left now because obviously I didn't look up the prices for everything beforehand I probably should have but I would say my next car would probably be I think I would get an Evo again because I've actually had two Evos in the past and I honestly love them so I, let's say I'm gonna spend another 20 grand on a clean Evo um, on that clean Evo that's gonna have a built motor because you really can't do that without on those cars without building the motor so a built motor um, I would get a probably like a precision 6266 ETS turbo kit that's gonna go around five thousand plus dollars so let's say seven grand and to build a motor we'll say fully decked out like built head built bottom end with all the rods pistons bearings everything like that it's probably gonna be 10 G's by a reputable shop and the tune and everything so that car would probably be pushing like 500 ish horsepower if not more afterwards and I think the total cost for the car and the mods and probably like suspension, like fortune auto coilovers. So let's put some TE37s on that. So it's another like five grand with tires and stuff. And let's do, fuck it. Let's do, let's do a Voltex wide body kit on that too. Why not? <laughs> you know, we got the money. All right, so I will get a Voltex wide body kit and the wing and everything. So let's price that up to whatever it is on the screen now. I'm kind of doing my deductions. If I go over, I apologize. But I know that I'm in, within my bounds right now for sure. So I got those three cars. Now we're getting into like the more higher end cars. So this money's probably going to run out a little bit faster now. So let's say we got a Porsche. I think that I'm going to have to go not with the most top tier one. I feel like that's a real big spend on money. And I kind of have a lot of other cars that I really want to get. Thanks, Mr. Softy, for fucking up mine. <laughs> I think that I would end up getting a Porsche GT4 Cayman. So, reason why that being is, yes, it's a perfect driver's car, but I think I still want that stick mental, that stick uh, aspect and like full control over the car. I think that having a car of that caliber and you know capable of what it's capable of and being able to actually control it is honestly more than you know a guy can hold in a car. Especially, you're only gonna probably spend about 70 grand on that. And for mods, I think that all I'm doing to that is really an exhaust and maybe a roll cage. Um, if it, I don't I actually don't remember 100% if they come with them from factory, I pretty, I'm pretty sure they don't. But I think that that car is just decked out already. It looks absolutely insane, um, and it's stick capable. So I, I'm all for it. I want it. You know what I mean? Um, I think I'm somewhere around like the 300 to 400 thousand dollar range at this point um but i'm gonna keep it going and say that the next car that i would probably end up getting is a ferrari f30 hmm bet you weren't expecting that so that car probably runs about let's say that car probably runs at about 80 grand um and realistically, it's worth it. It's a Ferrari V8. It's 
probably one of their better ones. I'll probably get the STD Coupe, the Speciale, if it comes Speciale. Because, obviously, I don't know shit about exotics because I'm fucking poor. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, it's probably going to run at least 80 grand. And I'm probably not going to do anything to that. anything to that car oh my god oh my god oh my god no please tell me no 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 omg okay guys i just want to update you real quick because i just had a small heart attack so this o-ring right you see how small that is when i was picking that off maybe you saw it and i'll and then the clip right it flew directly into that. Now this goes deep into the engine, right? And so does that. And this is pretty small. I was freaking out. Lucky it got stuck right at the edge, right there, and I got it out. Always have a pick tool, by the way. Those things are lifesavers because that thing reached down, took it out, and got it. So now back to our regularly scheduled program. So F430 Ferrari, the only thing I would get to that, done to that is an exhaust, all right? Um, I just lost my whole place, man. I have no clue. Um, the next thing that I would get, probably the final thing as well, and also my current dream car. So if anybody's watching and you want to help me get to a thousand subs, Please help me get to a thousand subs <laughs> so we can start making this dream come true. But um, I want a Lamborghini Huracan Twin Turbo. Now, I think you can get that for about a hundred and for a good one, 150 to 190 grand. So let's go with the middle ground of 175,000 and plus 50 grand for the twin turbo kit. Now I may have just gone over because that's probably gonna be at least 220 grand. So out of the 650, if everything else equated to about 400,000, then that's about right. So I think that that would be about it. And honestly for that car, I think maybe a Liberty Walk kit. So now we're just tacking on another, I don't even know how much that kit costs. It's probably ridiculous, but we're probably comfortably at $275,000 for everything said and done. Now that's a lot of money for just one car, but that's like the dream. That's like, I could buy it, I could mod it, do whatever I want to it. And I think that that would be absolutely awesome. And just like the coolest car, like I've, Ever since I knew that they come out, they came out, I've been like in love with them. And the reason why is that the V10 on those cars is just so intelligent. So to wrap up this video, while well, I just finished pouring this oil in, we're just gonna go through everything one last time. So from the top, we have an S2000. It has a full Voltex wide body kit and the wing, a hard top who's unspecified, but maybe I'll name it here. Um, we got a Sheepy Turbo Kit, and we have Ray ZE40s and Fortune Auto Coilovers. So next up, we got a Lotus Exige. That's getting suspension, aero, and exhaust, and wheels. Next up, we got an Evo full Voltex wide body kit, the MR version, obviously, by the way. So the six speed, the Evo 9. So the six speed MR, we're gonna have the full built motor uh, and all supporting mods, an ETS 6266 turbo kit uh, with open dump and everything, built uh, Shep Trans. Shep diff, Shep transfer case, 
uh, race TE4. This is probably the most expensive one of the build, maybe, um, for to build. And uh, you're gonna have bride interior uh, and uh, and uh, the, that's about it, really. Um, next up, we got the Porsche GT4. That's getting just an exhaust. And then we got the Ferrari F430 with an exhaust. And lastly, we have the Lamborghini Huracan with a twin turbo kit. And that's about it. That would just be a dream garage for me if I had the money. Um, so I'm actually really curious to hear you guys this because obviously everyone has different tastes. Like some people might like European cars. This could be one of your cars for all I know. The S55 might be your thing. Um, it could be anything. I don't care what car you choose. Just price your dream garage and put it in the description below with your mods. I'm so curious to see what you guys think about, you know, if you had the money to like purchase whatever you wanted and get whatever you wanted and do whatever mods you have you wanted to to it what you would do and what you'd be shooting for with those cars for me mostly the cars that I chose and, and listed in this video are more so for my personal enjoyment as well as for some race applications so I'd probably say that I would actually probably take the s2000 and the Lotus Exige to the track the evil would probably be a nice you know show car slash street car you know try to take it out when I can and then when I'm just really trying to, actually, sorry, the other track car would definitely be the GT4, so I'd have three. I'd have the GT4, the Lotus Exige, the S2000. I would probably have the Huracan, the F430, and the uh, Evo as my street slash fun car. Um, I think that that would be an amazing garage. And I'm sure that there's somebody out there, some Jay Leno or some rich rapper or something who has like my dream set up I know you know funny enough actually YBN Namir I don't really listen to his music but he's actually really into cars like he has like an RX-7 and stuff like that just a little fun fact but you know it is what it is and uh, yeah so honestly thank you guys for watching if you've watched this far comment hashtag dream garage in the comments if you've watched this far let me know that you're staying until the end um, shout out to you guys I'm working on a couple things so first of all let's get to a thousand subscribers I really want to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of this year um, try my best help me out guys share with your friends whatever helps you know what I mean um, and I'm also not for sale but I do want to give a do a giveaway when we hit 500 I know before when I was saying we would have a hundred subscribers we could do a giveaway but uh, I think it's more realistic to do it at 500 and now that me and Chris have separate YouTube channels and stuff like that um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of easier for us to decide on what we'd want to give away. I'm actually working on a couple shirts, um, some designs, and I think that it'd be cool to give that away and maybe some like universal parts for cars, so like um, up to a certain value. So I'd probably wait till the winners are picked. I'd probably wait till the winners are picked, and then I would probably go ahead and purchase like something for your specific car within the value that I specify. Um, so yeah, let's just try to get the subscriber count up guys get your uh, You know interaction up. I really want to hear back from you guys a lot more I try to comment back on uh, most of the stuff that gets commented on and um, yeah Honestly, thank you guys for watching um, Can't wait to hear about your dream garage. Just hope you enjoy listening to mine um, There will be more oil change and chill uh, Series videos coming up as I do more oil changes obviously, but um yeah, also just comment in this, uh, down below what you think would be a good discussion topic or a fun topic to do on the next Oil Changes and Show. So with that being said, thank you for watching, guys. Stay motivated. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.